sorry about that guys technical little technical problem getting us back on um as we all join again yep everybody's coming back on again um you've asked for it to come back on so you're very welcome as we start part two and kumi was about to give us some fantastic advice as he always does um thank you for coming back i'm uh, glad to be back um wonderworks um wiry kumi has joined um sorry for the small delay but you know how um getting back into this ig trying to be a little bit of an issue so we're on to part two um we're talking to kumi ario the ceo of my myrus events um who works with a lot of multinationals um, he's worked with some of the biggest multinationals in Nigeria and across Africa and internationally. So, Kumi, you were just about to say something. So, please, can you reintroduce what you were about to say and then say what you were going to say, please? Okay, so I was... Um, when you... Uh, I don't... I, I, I'm not even sure... This doesn't only apply to event planning, but I'll say this. When you're doing business, when you're, when you're planning an event for a client... The first thing you should be thinking about is value add as against profit. Your first thought should be value as against profit. And I'm not saying you shouldn't make money. You will make money, trust me. When you add value, you'll make money. But explain what you mean when by you value, think value add. First, what, what does value add mean? When you when you when you, when you think it, it means you are yet what your predominant thought is how much value am I giving to this client? So I'm planning events. There's some events that I'm planning. And even when the client hasn't said do this, I'm thinking this will be good for this event. So I go the extra mile. Even if it means having to use some of my funds, I go the extra mile to do some of these things. I remember an event we did in January. Was it January? Yeah, it was in January. And um, it was a staff party. And we We've done all the planning, and I just, I just thought, you know what, a balloon drop will look really good for this event, you know. So I just put the client. I said, "Hey, I'm thinking of doing a balloon balloon drop at no cost to you. I just wanted to know if if we can go ahead." And I said, "Sure, go ahead." And it came out really beautiful. It came out really beautiful. They were very excited. We paid for it, but I just knew that this was something they were going to be excited about, and then it was something I was going to add some spark to the event value at it, it is extremely, extremely important. I mean, it's easy for me to have thought, balloon drop, how much? No, that's my money that I'm using. There's no point. I'm not going to do that. But I mean, you should always think value add. I'll tell you another story. Last year, I was doing an event for a client. It was a one week, one week long event. And um, the budget, the budget that we are putting for tech you know, the client had said, oh, they can't afford it, they can't afford it. We're trying to cut it down, 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 cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Client, she said, you know what, I can't afford this amount, you know. I knew that the tech for that event was extremely important. For that whole week, there were so many things happening. There were performances, there were, there were movie premieres, there were so many things happening that whole week, you know. So I told the client, I say, you know what? I'll take your budget that you have, and I will take two million for my management fee and add to the tech budget to make up for that tech, for the tech amount for that event. Shall I that money hurt me? Uh, that money hurt that money hurt me bad. You would hurt anyone. I kid. You not. Two M it hurt me bad. But I'll tell you the flip side. When we were done with that event, same clients had another event two months down the line. And this was an event that they had been doing for the last three years. For this particular event that they had down the line. Every year that they do the event, they bring in their tech, they bring in their tech crew from South Africa. Okay. This year, 
when they had seen what we had done with that event, they said, you know what? You guys should handle everything. We don't need to bring in anybody from South Africa. You guys can do it. You know? And this, this, this was as a result of the value that they had seen from what we had done at another event. You know? It's, it's, very, it's very, very important. I, had, I, have, I have a client in Cape Town. And um, so we did an event for them last year. And she was like, oh, we have the same event in Cape Town next month. Oh, I wish you guys could come. And I said, oh, we don't need to come. The event planners in Cape Town. She said, they're not like you guys. You guys plan with so much love and affection. <laughs> you know? She said, the way you guys, the way you guys, the way you guys plan, as in there's so much care in how you do the work. And the truth is that we really don't have to be like that. We can we cannot be professional and just do the work and get it going. Yeah. But the value add is very, very important. It does a lot for you and your brand, a whole lot. I mean, and, I think people people have to build relationships. And it's also about building relationships as well. Mm -hmm. You know, which is absolutely essential. And like you said, if you do well for a client, they will come back to you again and again and again. I mean, I think yep. my gig were trying to say that we have the same with Edu360, which is that, you know, yep. we went in, we did a job with a client. Um, we just came in initially just to do some, I think we just did some small technicals. We weren't the main people. We just came to do some stuff. But as we were going along, they kept coming to us. Can you do this? Can you do this? Even though it had nothing to do with us, we did it. We did extra things. We did so on. And this is when we even had that other big event that same day, that same time. Mm -hmm. So it was really stressful for us, but we did it. But what then happened, to cut the very long story short, is because of what we did for them, the extras we did for them, the level of professionalism we showed, the following year, they called us and literally said, take his entire event. Handle the whole thing. That's it. Yeah. So... Guys that sometimes make put money first, I think it's the wrong way. It's like putting the cart before the horse. Do the good job. Any yeah. sensible client will appreciate you and will bring you back and will give you more. And more importantly, they stop looking like Kumi said, they don't look anymore. Yeah. Because they, they can don't justify look to else. their bosses, they can justify to everybody, they don't look anymore. Or what do you think, Kumi? Yeah, that's 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 what it is. That they, they, they don't, they, they they're not searching anymore. They just keep coming back to you, which leads me to my second point. We need to learn the art of collaboration in Nigeria as yeah. planners. You know, um, mm -hmm. I, I've realized that we really we really do not have it all. I've realized that I that I don't think there is any one company that has that has it all when it comes to event planning, when it comes to event production, event planning, event production, event management. So you need to learn the art of collaboration. You need to learn to, you need to, learn to know who you're bringing in, who to collaborate with. And the truth is the client doesn't care who you bring in. All they care about is that you do a good job. Mm -hmm. That's what's most important to them. So never be afraid of collaborating, thinking that somebody's going to steal my shine. No, nobody's going to steal your shine. You are going to be the, it's your name they're going to call at the end of the day. It's you they're going to tell congratulations to if the event goes well, you know? And we, 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 it's important. I've, I'm very big on collaborations, very, very, very big on collaborations. And it has helped me, it's helped me well, 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 well. I mean, I'm, do, I'm doing events, I'm doing events and on the day of the event, I'm so redundant because I put different people to handle different things and I'm just walking around strolling and sipping pina colada or something and just having a good time. I mean, it, it's definitely what you call division of labor. You understand? I mean, when, mm -hmm. I, when I first came back, I did realize that <clears throat> unlike when I worked in England where we all collaborate and there's many different people and everybody knows their plan and you get on with it and you help each other out because you want the event to be served. When I came to Nigeria, I realized that there was very much a, this is my event. Don't share. They will yeah. steal. They will that. You know, and it doesn't work, particularly when you're doing the multinationals or you're doing a very big event. You can't do it by yourself. Don't kid yourself. You cannot do everything yeah, by yourself. And if you try to, you kill yourself. What you I end up being, you end up becoming mediocre. Yes, 
you do become mediocre. And we found that, and it's just like what you say, if you get the right people in for a specific aspect of a job, yes, if you get the right people in, you can literally walk away. I know, for instance, yeah. when I do my light sound stage, I don't even go near them. I might have the odd one little thing. I know that when we work with Dr. Yemi, for instance, you can leave that and go away. You exactly. don't need to trouble it. You get, so you can concentrate on the areas of your vendors that you know there's a little bit of weakness or you're going to need to have that more attention. And people, you guys need to learn this, all right? It is better to make half bread than to try and make everything yourself, the whole 100%, and you mess up your event. That's that's, that's You mess fact. it up, yeah. Exactly, exactly, and um, the 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 I'll, I'll bust the myth that people have. People say things like, "Oh, I don't want people. I, I don't want to collaborate so that this mm. person doesn't steal my client." Mm. Nobody can steal your client. Yeah, if a client left, they didn't steal them. They left. Yep. The reason why you're, the reason why you're saying that they stole your client is because you don't want to tell yourself the truth. You either did something wrong or you find out why they left. Tell yourself the truth. Why did they leave? People can't steal your client. The client walked. It's not like they're stealing a baby. So they can't steal. Jonas, you need to <laughs> remove that, perish that thought of they stole my client. People cannot steal your client. If a client leaves you, you need to ask yourself some hard questions. Why did they leave? What went wrong? What wasn't I doing? If you have asked yourself all these questions and you've ticked all the boxes, perhaps they wanted to work because they felt like working. But then when a client leaves, ask yourself all the right questions. I'll give you an example. I, was, I did an event, 2016. Yeah, it was 2016. Did an event. Beautiful, beautiful event. It was beautiful. It was lovely. It was nice. I felt really, really good. Good with myself. I felt good. You know, and then the dad said, oh, it's going to be a yearly event. So, I mean, next year, I was waiting patiently. They will call me, you know, I was waiting, sitting down in my house here, this couch, sitting down, scrolling Instagram. I see the event taking place. You know, it was like, you know, when they said the pot cold water on you, and I'm thinking... What's going on? What, I, I was almost in tears. I was like, what, what, what could I possibly have done? What did I do? You know? What could, I mean, what could I have done? I, I, I couldn't wrap my head up. I was like, I know that this event was excellent. I know. Ah. So, turns out, so I started to search why, 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 what happened? So, it just turns out that somebody from that company had resigned and I started an event company. Hey. So, I gave it, I gave it, <laughs> I gave it back to the person. You know? So, I was like, I oh, mean, so you win some, you lose some. There's nothing you can do. You know? There's but, nothing I mean, I was consoled that. I mean, I was consoled that. I was just concerned that I, so I, I checked all the boxes. I knew I, I, I didn't do anything wrong. You know. You know. Yeah. I mean, those things happen. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, we've had situations where oh, definitely. Some amazing events. We thought they were getting the next year. They changed the chairman, and the chairman says, nope. Exactly. Those personal. kind of things. Yeah, with you and know. There's nothing you can say, do, whatever. Once the chairman says it, that's it. We have moved on. That's it. That's it. And that, that, that's it. That, that happens. You know, yeah. so I mean, so we have to be aware, aware of it. Kumi, so, so one, one of the questions that I want to ask you, I'm going to round up soon. If people don't have any more questions, I'm going to round up soon. But one question I really wanted to ask you I mean, I think a lot of people either on here or people go back and research your IG page and they will see um, some of your work. In terms of the concepts, and in terms of the ideas that go up, let's just say we do a Google Hangout or a YouTube event or whatever, 
are they provided to you? So it's, it's one of three things. Are they provided to you by the multinational? Do you, one, two, do you come up with all, all the ideas yourself? Or three, is it a combination of the two? And then what is the approval process? How do you, how do you conceptualize it? How do the multinationals go about signing off of, on it? Is there a process? How does it work? The process is very in different companies. So there's some events. There's some. There's some. That, like there's a particular event I've been doing for like three years for company, um, South African company. And so what all they say is that at that time of the year we are doing this event. Please come up with a theme for the event. Come up with different themes for the event, and then we'll choose. So we've done this for the last three years. The first one, the first one we did was not themed. The one we did two years ago was a Casino Royale theme. Last year, it was a Mardi Gras themed event. Um, so that's that one. They just tell us, come up. For, for some other events, yeah. I'll give, there's a particular, another event that I do. So we work with a South African company that conceptualizes the event. Yeah. They come up with the theme, the, the designs, and all of that. And then we execute the whole event, you know. And then um, we get the venue, get the vendors, and all of that. So sometimes, sometimes we come up with them. Sometimes the client does and just asks us to execute. Sometimes a combination of both. I like so the in your planning just, process, I like the ones where they the give it to me easy and they just give it to me and tell me to. In my what? So in your planning process, in your planning process, when, which one do you find easier? Which one works better for you? Which one is more difficult? Which one gives you less stress? Which gives you more stress? The one with less stress is the one that they say, take, go and do it. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. I mean, I love it. You know, so they just come and tell me, we want to do X, Y, Z, and we come up with this design. And I mean, see what I what I what I say is, there is no brief, there is no event you can give me if if you have conceptualized it. Eh? You've conceptualized it. You've, there's not if you give it to me in my hand, there's no way I will not do it. I will do it hundred percent to the T. That I know. When it comes to executing, I can do that one, King. I have no issues. If you tell me we've we 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 designed this, this is what just give it to me. Go and sleep. I'll get you all the vendors. Get you everything else. We'll do it. Now, those ones are easy. They had one when I say design. Hey, I remember I used to tell my former boss. I said I'm not a creative person. I don't know how to design. He said that's rubbish. He used to tell me, Kumi, that's rubbish. Kumi, that's rubbish. Stop saying that's rubbish. Rubbish. Kumi, stop saying rubbish. <laughs> I don't know how to, cause and up to now, eh, it's, it's it's not easy something. I will not lie. So, fortunately, one of my good friends has joined Debola. When they tell me to conceptualize, I just say Debola, we have brief. Either Debola or Somto. I say we have brief. This is what the clients wants. Please send me, send me design, and please send me three D as well. So. There's, ah, there's one event that myself and Debola worked on. Debola did 3D. I think he did 3D for like three weeks. He was doing 3D, 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 3D. I'm sure the guy was frustrated. I said, it was my own. Just be doing the 3D. I would plan the event. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. You know? So, I mean, when it comes to execution, I have absolutely no issues. And I think yeah. one of the things that I think I'm also gifted with, I, I think I know how to choose vendors, which is, I think, is the skill that every event planner needs to have. You need to be able to choose the right vendors for whatever event it is that you're planning. So I'm doing, I remember one event that I was doing, so two years ago, and the client says, we need to put a container in the venue. Hey. Can you get a vendor that can do that? <laughs> I got a vendor, and the vendor did not disappoint me at all. I was happy. Put two containers on top of each other in the building. Ah, I was happy. 
So conceptualization. So my gege, what's the hard bit? My gege says that's yeah, the hard bit. Yeah, the conceptualization. Trust habit. me, that's what she's talking about. The conceptualization. Okay, Ask my guys. They, they they have sleepless nights when we have to put and see. See, yeah. I hope my I hope my people are not here. Let me just confess. Now, when when I get briefs, I just dump it on them. Guys, send me the presentation. I need it in three days. I mean, I'm chilling because that part is that I cut my head cam. I said, guys, go and go and let me design. Put everything together. When they bring us, why didn't you think of this, this, and this? What? Go and get me to the one design, and then ah, I'll do the work. <laughs> so let me just let me just <laughs> tell you now. If you're a planner, if you're a planner, and you are, you don't know, you are. You, this you find this hard. Just look for creative people and have them around you. Yeah, have them around you. True. Look for creative people. Look for creative vendors and have them around you. It's very important. Very important. I don't joke, and I don't joke I my vendors. People also have to what people have to also realize now is that times have changed. You know, when people spend money, they want value for money. They want the event to look different from somebody yeah. else's event. They want you to add something special to the event. Extra, that they haven't something seen. different from the last event that they saw. Exactly. You know, we, 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 we and you do it all the time. I see it. I, you know, we did an event last time. We had to build a complete elite lounge for them, you know, which is literally building a building inside a building. Those are the kind of areas that people are taking yeah. you to nowadays. And if you can't get the right people, you can't deliver, you're in big trouble. Absolutely enormous trouble. That one very, thing could spoil very, very the entire true. event. If you get it wrong. Very, very yeah. true. Very, very true. So, I mean, getting vendors that are creative in their, in their thought process is extremely, extremely important. And I'm really thankful. I'm thankful for some amazing vendors that have helped me. Event Couture, Debola, um, Events by Claude Somto, Event Texture. They're able to conceptualize put your ideas just tell them this is this is this is what i want i want i want i want they're able to bring your ideas to life so let me even make you laugh so i got this event that i did with debola so debola is joint designs joint design so the clients will buzz me you give me design i'll send it to the clients clients say no this is not what i said oh the the i need to speak to the designer the client said the client said you know come wait i really need to find out what exactly are you doing? What exactly are you doing? What exactly is your in your job in all of it? I say I'm the event planner now. Yeah, no, I, I need to know Why? because you know, I, I say I'm a I'm, I'm an event manager. I'll manage your events. I have a designer. I'll design your events. Please, please, ma, let's just do it like that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think a lot of companies have to realize that some of them sometimes think that they can go and get all these people and do it by themselves because I've seen people like that oh, I, I, I don't need a, a Myers I don't need yeah. a Mahogany I don't need an event texture I don't need a Wonderworks or whoever it might be when they try it it doesn't take them halfway through the event or planning that they will come back and beg you please can you come and manage my event because their jobs are potentially on the line. But that, that's dependent on what you problem. see. That's so dependent. That's, that's dependent on what you see on ground. If you go and manage it, exactly. So if you if you put your hand in that, you might equally get into trouble. So you have to be careful how you put your hand in in that pie. If they've already started. So the <laughs> the events that <laughs> the events that they've already the client has already conceptualized. They've gone far, and then they now bring you on board. They bring you on board close to close to the event, and you and then you are hearing some of the things that they 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 want to do, and you are thinking this can't work. This I remember I remember an event we did two years ago. We we had a meeting in the client's office for one and a half hours discussing mm -hmm. when people were going to eat. <laughs> we discussed when dinner will be served for one and a half hours. And this was because they hadn't thought they hadn't thought through the dinner process. Mm -hmm. They hadn't. 
they had thought about all the other things they wanted to do. And then I said, look, when are we going to? And I said, at this time, and I said, if you eat at this time, this is happening. If you eat at this time, nobody's focused. If you eat at this time, people are not going to concentrate. You can't eat at... That's how the discussion started. One and a half hours. And then eventually, we had to time everything. Um, finger foods come out at this time. Food comes out at this time. We had to rehearse with the wait staff the precision on the timings. I remember there was a particular waiter that kept breaking the plates when we were rehearsing, so we took him aside. He didn't say that day. I don't forget. <laughs> so we kept, we rehearsed, we rehearsed. Toby, Toby, Toby was actually the F&B manager at that event. She rehearsed with all of them, the drinks guys, the food guys, the, 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 the dinner, the, the small shops, the drinks vendor, she did rehearsals with everybody day before the event. You know? So, I mean, so there, guys, so many that, that, listen, that these are the sort of things that we go, go into yes. planning an event. So, for and, and, a client tells you, I want to do an event that is scripted. That means, or, or, or an event that is live for TV. And then they are telling you, and then you ask them, how many days did you book the hall? They say, we only booked it for one day now because you set up the night before and then you do the event on that day. This is an event that you want to script. This is an event that you want to be shot for TV. If, if I start to set up the day before, what time are we going to have to rehearse? I've had events where we've dedicated one full day. One full day being... 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for rehearsals only. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. of rehearsals for a two-hour event. I've had events where we set up for four days for, for the event to end in three hours. I remember in November, I went for an event. I went for an event in South Africa. The event was on Thursday. They had started setting up on Monday. The event ended before 1 p.m. on the day of the event. When the event was over, I didn't want to leave the venue because in my mind, I'm thinking, after all this setup, we're just going to live like that. We're just going to go. Ah, you know, but precision. It is extremely important. Precision. Mm -hmm. Precision. Um, they it is, said, it this is, is it because is. they don't have silver, mean, silver service training, which is which is lacking in Nigeria, and that's the truth. You know, which is true. A lot of we, know, we don't think we don't think what I remember. There was an event I was, I was meant to plan for another company. This one was even a funny story. You know, so I was contacted by I was referred to that company by a company in Kenya, and I was referred to the headquarters of the company in America. And the company had a, had a branch in Nigeria. So they're coming for a meeting in Nigeria. And then the Nigerian guys say, how come, how come we haven't heard about you? And mm -hmm. our, our counterparts in America are the ones telling us about you. In my mind, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, is that my fault? I'm <laughs> Gova. Sorry. 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 <laughs> you me. You know? <laughs> so, so, so they say, oh, we want to do this event. It's a pretty elaborate event. And I'm like, so when do you have the venue from? They say, oh, we have it from the night before because there's an event at the, at the venue the day before. The event was on Friday. They say, oh, we have it from Thursday night because there's an event on Thursday at the venue. <laughs> and I looked and I'm like, are you really serious? I, I, I didn't do that event eventually. They, they, they didn't give me the event. Let me not be able to see if I... I I said no. They didn't give me the event. But at the meeting, I told them, I said, I just told them, I said, it's not possible. You can't do this event of this magnitude and have one and just pay for the whole for one day. And I, I told them, you know, it's, it's not possible. That's why they didn't give you the job. You told them that you're coming. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I remember another client that would, I was doing an event for. And I told them, I said, you need to pay for the hall for two days so we can set up. They said, no, 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 we can't pay for one day. 
I paid for one day. There was an event at the, and it was a morning event. It was meant to start at nine o'clock. They, they paid for one day. There was an event at the hall the day before. The event didn't end till about 10.30. They couldn't clear out of the hall till about 11.30. We didn't start, we weren't able to do proper sound checks, testing and everything. So the internet didn't work properly. The sound had a few glitches, you know? And I told the client, and then the client says, oh, all these so glitches, the are we going to pay for these for services? That? I said, Thank you. they were trying to blame me for that, but then I explained to them why. They were trying to blame me for that. And I said, I remember categorically saying that we needed to pay for the hall for two days because of this, that. And a lot of people just don't, don't understand. When you say, we have to do sound check, and I think it's not one, two, one, two. It's not testing microphone, test my <laughs> sound check. Do you understand? <clears throat> I remember, <laughs> I remember an event that I did. I went and saw the budget for tech. Someone said, it's a man for testing, testing. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's not what it is, you know? So those are the kind, that's what I said, it happened to us last year. Yeah, yeah I, it happened I, to us. I wonder what, yes, yeah, we had, did. remember we had the problem at her event. When we did um, the at the refresh, yeah, event for Wonderwork, yeah, we know. So, 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 so when when I I try to tell clients all all of these things about you know having enough time to set up and all these things, it's important. It's very very important. Hey, you know, I mean, I, everybody everybody needs to remember there's certain things that you have to do when you're setting up events you've got to plan properly it's like going to war basically you know you've got to plan for every contingency you've got to be very um precise in everything that you do you know and if you work i think it's with all companies not just with multinationals a lot of the big companies now are doing it i mean one of the the things that me, I just wanted to go back a little bit and we're going to finish in a few seconds is about knowing when to walk away some of you know there's a big bank I'm not going to mention their name that has been doing an event each year um, I'm hoping some of you will know the name if you want to mention it you can but I am not mentioning it I don't know if you've been to their event Kumi it happens towards the latter part of the year and it's a disaster. Do you know the event I'm talking about? Come here. Are you still with me? Sorry, there's a delay. Come here. Are you still with me? I'm with you. I'm, I'm trying to... We can't remember. I okay. think I know the, I know the people, event. I know the event. I know the event. I know the event. I know the event you're talking about. You what, Did you work on it last event. year? Hey! Did you work on it last year? Don't come and spoil my name. Do not come and spoil my name. I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't you did not. try that. Okay. Well, I thought, don't I thought you, you did. Don't try that. My reputation is very, very important. So don't, don't even go <laughs> there. Don't even go there. <laughs> Do Tom stop causing trouble? So this is Kumi. They have money. When I say they have money, mad, 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 mad money. Number one, the person that they subcontracted to doesn't want to spend the money. Number two, they bring yeah. in all the wrong people. All the wrong people. Mm -hmm. There's no management of them, so everybody does what they like. If you talk about a health and safety disaster, that was the biggest health and safety disaster that I've ever seen. When I walked through that event, and I've done it two years in a row now, it reminds me of when we used to do events back in the 90s, in early 2000s. You know, cable everywhere, <laughs> join wire, see people anyhow, dirt, and, hmm. guys. I know that money is important, but be prepared <laughs> to walk away. <laughs> uh, thank you, Wiry. Please oh, put it in writing. We were not there. Or we were not part of it. Be prepared to walk away, guys. <laughs> might be good. <laughs> but what it would do yeah. to your reputation well, your brand is more important than the money now. The, the that is temporary... really finishing me off. Yeah. See, Kumi nearly put me for a while. I think, ah, but did you not work on it last year? <laughs> That's how I will not get work, oh, Kumi. I thought, and I thought I, you were my friend. I thought, I mean, I thought. 
I thought I thought I thought you uh, did you know I've said that I mean Kumi, it, Kumi, let me tell you something. <laughs> it was that bad. Let me tell you something. It was that bad that both my gigi and Wiry said, guys, let's leave this place so people will start to think that we're involved in it. I'm telling you, that's how bad yeah. it was. And and it, and it's true. As, as a planner, you have people to be careful say, the kind ah, of places involved, that you go, go to. to. <laughs> it's true. As a planner, you have to be careful the kind of places you go to because when they see you, they just say, he's the one. And that's how I have entered trouble. <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> if you want to mention that's your wala. Oh, I'm I not there. I, not it, <laughs> I did not see it. That's my own. Do you tell me if you want to but, do it? Do it. You were not part but, of it, so you're okay. Come in, you need to. words that you want to say to people. Sorry, go on. Um, go on. Yeah, I, I was saying the money that you can make from one event is temporary. So think about your reputation and the lifespan of your reputation before you think about money that you're going to make from one event that will mess up your, your the whole of your career. You really need to think about it. And the truth is, if you're, if you're going to get into this business, or if you're doing this business, it has to be passionate about money. You have to be passionate. You, you, you can't say you're doing this because you saw that people are doing it and they are making money. You have to be passionate. Yeah. Everybody that works with Miras events is passionate about events. I cannot, I cannot allow you to work for me if you are looking for a job. You have to be passionate. You can't come to me and say, I'm looking for a job. Can I work at Miras events? You know you can't. I'm sorry. You have to be passionate about events for you to work at Mirror's events. That's why my guys, my guys, amazing. I love them. Amazing, amazing people. Passionate. They are very passionate about events. Very, very passionate. Well, Kumi, thank you. King Kumi, they have been crowned, though. King Kumi, <laughs> thank you for an amazing session. I mean, it's very, been welcome. very insightful. We've learned a lot from you. Guys, please, um, thumbs up, wave, um, love heart to, to appreciate everything he has. You know, Wonder Word says, I will not tell <laughs> that you love them. Uh, you don't tell myself that I love them. I will tell them myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowing this, this to turn back onto our IG again. <laughs> 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 Guys, it, I'm, I'm glad that people like Carol Creation said it's been very insightful. My Gigi Love says it's been yeah. true. Uh, you know, Toby that has been there has been giving her comments. So, Toby, sorry, I've not been reading all your comments because you are, you are too troublesome. Dami Spence that has worked with us before and worked <laughs> with you as well. So, you know, there's people out there that have worked so they can compare and contrast. Um, somebody says, Mr. Kumi for president. Well, Kumi, I will vote for you. Me. No problem. But just make sure you give me contact. Huh? That's my own. You know, <laughs> Mr. K, the living legend. Kumi, you've got lots of fans out there. And it's because you're such a nice person. You are very professional in what you, you do. You're very cool and calm <laughs> under pressure. I wish I could be like you, honestly. I wish I had that demeanor. No matter what, I'm just cool. <laughs> Mine is like, are you crazy? <laughs> My staff know. But we all have a different <laughs> styles. It works differently for all of us. <laughs> shall I have one shall I have one story? I have one story about you. I think I should say that story before we go. Let me crack people off. And okay. because I saw Jumoke, that's why I remember that story. So there's this event that we're well, doing in Abuja. We're doing this event in Abuja. Shola is on the comms. He's trying to get across to Jumoke. And Shola goes, Shola for Jumoke. Nothing happens. We're all still chilling and we're having a good time. Shola for Jumoke. Nothing happens. We're all still chilling. Jumoke! Jumoke, I'm going to kill you! I'll kill you! If you don't come here right, I'm going to kill you! That's the next thing we start here. Over the comes. I'm wondering, how did it escalate so fast? <laughs> oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! I will never forget that. Never. It was still hilarious. <laughs> 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 
Well, if you try the diplomatic route, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> they threaten to kill somebody. Oh One of them will work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I remember that one. You guys killed me about that. <laughs> anyway, Kumi, thank you so much. It's been great having you. It's been very insightful. You we love you dearly. You know, keep doing the great things you're doing. Um, like yes, everyone sir. here, collaborations are great. Keep working on your collaborations. The the um, eventually we will start work again. Everything will open. Yep. We will be back yep. to normal again mm -hmm. uh, very soon please mm -hmm. stay safe be out there my giggy love we can testify my giggy i go flog you and don't worry i can catch you <laughs> <laughs> why are you doing many many spaces don't worry the two of you don't worry I'll deal with you. so please be safe out there guys i'm just gonna round up very quickly kumi thank you so much take care give my love thank to your you. wife you know she's an amazing we'll do woman that. doing great in the gospel industry Guys, no, all right, come in. Good night. All right. Good night. Thank you. So, everybody, it's been a great evening. We've had two sessions here with King Kumi from Myers Events talking about multinationals. Um, I think those of you that are on board have learned it, um, a lot of stuff. We will be sending out band notices to certain people from companies called Wonderworks and was um, Toby's company, Wow Connect. Don't worry, we shall deal with you later. But guys, I hope you found it useful. Um, we're back again next week with another great guest on Tuesday on Mahogany Truth Talks. It's to help the industry get an insight from people that are doing things. Also, if you've got any guests that you'd like to hear from, please let us know. We will definitely contact them, bring them on board so that you can get that knowledge that you need to have. Thursday, we're going to be back with um, the chat room on Fashion's Finest Africa. Um, where we're going to be talking fashion photography with um, Reese Bonner from South Africa. Guys, please remember COVID is real. Stay safe. Be careful. And we'll see you again soon. Good night, everybody. <laughs>